Next level. And then that's when they told us how to go to South Korea, which means not by flying or with a passport or taking a boat, which means walk crossing the Gobi Desert to Mongolia from China. Wow. And if we lucky enough to cross the desert, not being eaten by animals, not getting shot by Chinese guards, if we cross eight wire fences in the desert and go to Mongolia with our steps, which is one compass in our hand. And then that was like freezing to minus 40 degrees in February of 2009, right after Beijing Olympic. And it's desert, it's like Mongolia is so cold. So it was just such a, you know, it was just such a random and gambling, I think, idea to be the freedom and with my life. And you guys did it. We did. We were so lucky. We did wow. not die before we did not get shot. We have made to Mongolia and we got caught by Mongolian soldiers. And they there was so much drama happening and eventually they were willing to helping us and they helped us to meet South Korean people and being in the some kind of detention center in Mongolia for like two months, two to three months. Then that's when I flew to South Korea in like April of 2009. So already at the age of what, 14? I was 15 by 15. then. 15. Yeah. You've done more and you've seen more horror in your life than most people will see in their entire existence. <laughs> well, and, uh, yeah. You've seen, you know, some of the worst that humanity has. Do you... Did you ever believe in God? I mean, even I mean, you were born into North Korea and religion was illegal, but did you ever believe in a higher power anyway? Did you ever believe in a higher power or creator, someone that gave you life? Before all this, I'm, and we'll talk about what you believe now, but I, as, as a child, did you believe in a higher power? Never. I never even knew the word never, a higher power. What, what North Korea did is like, have you read the 1984 by... Of course. George? I just <laughs> made my son read it three times in a row. Three times in a row. War is peace. Peace is war. Yeah. So he talks about the new speak. Double talk, new speak. So in order, if your language is limited, your thinking is limited because you don't have to understand new concepts. It's like that in North Korea. There's no concept for human rights. So when I heard like there's animal rights, I was so shocked. It's like, what the heck are you talking about animals and rights? Like as a human, I didn't even know I had a rights. And like that, and they don't have lo romantic love in North Korea. We don't, and my father never ever told my mom he loved her or my parents never told us they loved us. Only love that we knew or a lot to express was written form when we were describing our feelings to a dictator, not other, another human being. And now that, you made it out and years have gone by in your life. Do you do you believe in a higher power? Do you believe there's a God? It's, it's, I mean, I was after trying to understand Christianity, I, I was studying more evolution. And <laughs> I mean, the thing is that before there was Big Bang, there was nothing. But like how this something got created, it's chemistry, right? There was something before nothing. I mean, nothing to something. Big Bang came out from something. And where is that something coming from? It is a definite mystery. I don't think I am absolutely like, you know. You're, sure still, you're still searching. Yeah, I think, but the things are almost at this point. Next level.